पसंद करो हरे
should be died and the food structure was poor. It will be heard from the face of Nalan Maharaj. Thank you. हम लोग जिस स्थान पर आए हैं आप लोग सुन चुके हैं कि यह स्थान क्या कहलाता है तालबंद आजकल तालबंद से इस स्थान का नाम तारसी हो गया है तालबंद कहने से साधारण लोग नहीं समझेंगे किंतु तारसी कहने से सभी लोग समझेंगे तारसी कैसे हुआ तारसी ताड़ माने ये ताड़ का पेड़ है इसी के ताड़ के फल लगे हुए थे ऐसे ही दिस इज ताल वृक्ष पॉम ट्री पॉम ट्री नॉट गुड ने तार से तारसी नाम अभी हो गया कृष्ण एंड हिज एसोसिएट्स ऑल कौआ हर बेबॉल हंग्री दे वॉन्टेड टू टेक समथिंग इसलिए सब लोगों ने कृष्ण और बलदेव से कहा हम लोग भूखे हैं कुछ खाना चाहते हैं विशेष करके ताट फलों का सुगंध आ रहा है कृष्ण ऑल द कवर्ड बाय टोल टू कृष्ण एंड बलदेव दैट वी यू आर सो हंग्री एंड वेरी स्वीट फ्रेग्रेंट ऑफ दिस फ्रूट्स आर कमिंग बट देर इज धेनु का सूर एंड हिज गिविंग गॉड देयर एनी वन कैनट गो प्रेजवासी मल्ली दिस फ्रूट्स आर रिजर्व फॉर कंस एंड हिज एसोसिएट्स एनी वन कैनट इंटर इन दिस गार्डन कोई भी इस ताल के बगीचे में नहीं आ सकता है कंस के लिए रिजर्व था बलदेव प्रभु और कृष्ण यहाँ आए और उस धेनुकासुर को यहाँ पर बध किया कृष्ण के अच्छा तो ठीक है हियर बलदेव प्रभु किल्ड धेनुकासुर धेनुकासुर हुआ धेनुकासुर धेनुकासुर है कौन जो कंस के अनुचर हैं वो धेनुकासुर हैं जो गुरु की सेवा नहीं करते गुरु से दीक्षा मंत्र लेकर के भी और गुरु का आदेश पालन नहीं करते और उनके आदेश निर्देश में भगवान की सेवा नहीं करते वो लोग गधे हैं वो लोग धेनुकासुर हैं और उनको बलदेव प्रभु जी जान से मार करके फक्ति लाइन से विचित कर देते हैं इनिशिएशन एंड देर टेक वोट दैट फॉर होल लाइफ वी विल सर्व यू नॉट सर्विंग गिविंग अप गुरुदेव दे वॉन्ट टू डू स्वतंत्र भजन इंडिपेंडेंस दे आर थेन का सुर कर and bande prabhu kills them what is the meaning of killing to take to hell dhenukasu has a special quality dhenuka means ashes tanki a special quality to call se very lusty very very lusty The donkey are lusty, always pursuing sea donkey, taking and testing the feet, her kicks always, but never this. Third, always testing 
the kicks of their wives, see donkey. They are donkey. One thing. Jasya buddhi kunupe tidhatuke salakalaprajna. There are all donkey. Jo log bhagwan ka bhajan nahi karte. Guru ke ashray mein raha kar. Wo saab gadhe hai. Is chiz ko samaj liji aap loo. Those who are not doing bhajan, always testing worldly desires, worldly materials, they are all dumb. And they are assistants of Kansh Maharaj, associates of Kansh. We should not be the associates of Kansh. Hum loo pa Kansh ka anchar nahi hai. Hum to Krishna aur Baldev ji ke anchar hai. Is liye Guru ke anugat mein ra kar gun ka bhajan ka. Secondly, ek gadhe ka aur gun hai. गुण क्या है वो पीठ पर लाद करके शक्कर दही दूध मक्खन मिश्री सभी कुछ पहाड़ों पर भी चढ़ जाते हैं जहां पर आदमी नहीं चढ़ सकता है सही रूप में किंतु तो उसका टेस्ट नहीं कर सकते कैन कैरी स्वीट थिंग्स मक्खन बटर एवरीथिंग बट दे कैन नॉट टेस्ट एनीथिंग इट इज फॉर अदर्स Also, one thing, गधे बरसात में मोटे होते हैं, और गर्मी में मोटे होते हैं, और बरसात में दुबले पतले हो जाते हैं। Donkeys, they become fat in in summer, and they become very lean and thin in rainy season. Why? गर्मी के दिनों में घास तो रहती नहीं चरते चरते बहुत दूर चले जाते हैं घास नहीं मिलती और बहुत दूर से देखते हैं कि आज हमने इतना दूर लंबा चल दिया चर लिया हमारा पेट भर गया दे आर नॉट टेकन एनी थिंग बट दे आर सींग दैट वी हैव कम फ्रॉम दिस प्लेस टू दिस प्लेस वेरी फॉर अवे सो दे बी कैम फैट एंड इन रेनी सीजन चारों तरफ में बहुत घास हो जाती है और दो चार पग खाने पर भी उनका पेट भर जाता है किंतु तो सोचते हैं कि आज हमने कुछ भी नहीं चरा ये गधे की निशानी है जो लोग भगवान का भजन करके संतुष्ट नहीं होते वो गधे हैं और जो लोग संसार का कोई भी काम नहीं करें कुछ भी ना करें और भगवान का भजन करते हैं उनका जीवन सफल है वो लोग जन्म मरण इत्यादि को पार करके नित्य धाम में कृष्ण की सेवा को पाएंगे और जो लोग दिन भर गधे की भांति परिश्रम करते हैं और भगवान का भजन नहीं करते वो सब गधे हैं ये इसको शिक्षा देने के बलदेव प्रभु जी ने यहां पर उसको मारा था धैन का को मारा था सो वी वॉन्ट दैट यू शुड नॉट फॉलो डंकी और कंस यू शुड फॉलो कृष्ण एंड बलदेव गिव अप ऑल दूर डिजायर मनी यू कैन मेंटेन योर लाइफ By serving Krishna, taking the remnants, and always serving Krishna and Baldev, then your your life will be successful. And if you are whole time, day night, doing labor like ashes, donkeys, your life will be ruined. आज हम लोग बलदेव प्रभु जी के चरणों में प्रार्थना करते हैं, we pray in the Lord's feet of Sri Baldev Prabhu that He should sprinkle His mercy on us. That we can follow him and we can serve him, and in the guidance of Guru Dev, we will serve Radha and Krishna conjugal. Go, Pramanande. कौन यहाँ के बोलना चाहते हैं थोड़ा सा? श्री गुप्तेंद्र जी महाराज जी का स्वागत कर रहे हैं, श्री श्यामलाल जी, फूल मालाओं से महाराज जी का स्वागत कर रहे हैं। Logo moist dermati, 
Car on the edge, it's zooming around the other one, that's good. And then put my hand in front of there, or would you get mad? Uh oh, look, there's a gutter. Hey. Said you drink the milk 
Cow, the cow said, no, I can't. First you say, me, you say me, what is the problem? Then the cow said everything that this is the last drink that you can have from me and I have to go back. Lion is ready to devour me there. So from there, calf said, no, I won't take milk from you. I will go there with you. So the calf, cow, and the Brahman also, who was the owner of the cow, came here. As soon as, as cow approached to lion, lion was, lion was ready to devour the cow. The calf came in between, saying that, you can't eat my mother first. You will have to eat me first. So lion said, I can't, I can eat only one, not the two. Meanwhile, Brahman also came and said, if you eat cow or calf, you will have to eat me also. Because I am dependent on the cow. If you eat cow, I will also die, so first eat me. Lion said, how can I do that? I can eat only one, not the three. So, it was, who was that lion? The lion, that lion was the religion personified. They were testing the religiosity of the cow, that the cow promised that I'll go and come back. So the, the religion was testing him, testing her. So this way, that time Krishna appeared there, taking Sudarshan Chakra in his hands, and lion just stayed away from there. So we have Darshan there, that cow, that calf, Krishna having Sudarshan Chakra in his hands. In his hand. So this is the story that cow was Bahula. Of Vrindavan, Nanda Maharaj used to live in Nanda in Gokul and Vrishwanu Maharaj in Raval. When the demons sent by Krishna started making so much problem for them, they left that place and came here. Nanda Baba with his associates were living in Chatikara, a nearby village, and Vrishwanu Maharaj in a village named Raval in this side. When Mahaprabhu came to Vrindavan, he was visiting all the pastimes, the places of past pastimes of Krishna with <coughs> Balvadha Bhattachari and the Brahman of Mathura. When he came to this place, this place was so beautiful and he heard a conversation between Sukh and the Sari. Sukh is a bird but who is in favor of Krishna the Sari who is in favor of Srimati Radhika. So they had a conversation. Sukh was saying, my Krishna is Madan Mohan. Sari replied, he is Madan Mohan as long as only Srimati Radhika is sitting beside her, beside him. Then Sukh said, my Krishna he lifted Govardhan Hill on his left hand. Then Sari replied, it's only because Radha Rani empowered him to do so. <laughs> then Sukh said, Krishna wears peacock feather on his head. Then Sari Sari said, do you know why? Because that peacock feather has the name Radha on it. That's why Krishna takes it on his head. Then Sukh said, the chura, that means the mukut on Krishna's head, that is leaning towards left side. Then Sari replied, do you know why? Because that wants to touch the feet of Srimati Radhika Rani. That's why he's ready to ask it. Hari Bhav. Hare Krishna. So this way, Mahaprabhu tested, he was in the mood of, I mean, he is Krishna in the mood of Radhika Rani. When he came here, he saw all these things and he was so self-absorbed in the past times. He releases all, released all these things and from here he went back to Hare Krishna. What's up, Jake Mandas? How's it going, dude? Good, what are you up to? We're, well, we're just switching seats with your shoulder, so. Uh, right on. And that gives me a lot less pressure. Uh huh. Because uh, physical, because you're so. You're so massive. So, uh, so we're big. Massive. Yeah, you're so big. 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 Yeah, you're so this is a pretty crazy bus. A lot of, a lot of unruly people here. It's too civil for you. Uh, uh, just catch all those smiling faces, bro. Just make sure you get all those smiling yeah, faces. This bus looks really uh, rowdy. Whoa, someone just put a backpack down. It's pretty crazy. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get out of here. That's incredible.
Anyway, hey, there's Street Am Sakadas. But I don't understand. Oh, dude. Get out, You're just wasting film here. Shalakaya, 
So the first marginal characteristic is Anyabilashita Shunyam. That devotional service to Krishna must be free from any other desires. Anyabilash. Chita Shunyam. And Jnana Kama Dinavritam. That the activities of bhakti should not be covered by karma, jnana, yoga, jag, and all of these things. Karma means uh, the performance of fruitive activities for elevation. Jnana means the cultivation of impersonal knowledge. The, in this verse, Rupa Goswami has not said, Anyabilashita shunyam, jnana kama adya shunyam. Um, devoid of other, one's bhakti should be devoid of other desires, but it's not devoid of karma and gyan, but it's devoid of that karma and that gyan which will cover one's bhakti, because one cannot exist without doing some activities and some having some knowledge. So gyan, there are different types of gyan, tat padata gyan, tam padata gyan, and brahma jiva aikya gyan. Tat padata gyan means knowledge of the Bhagavata of Sri Krishna. But he is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He is the origin of all existence. He is the uh, Supreme Controller. He is the Supreme Enjoyer. Trampadata Gyan means to know what is the constitution of the Jiva. The Jiva is part and parcel of Krishna. He is eternally the servant of Krishna. These things. This type of knowledge is, does not cover Bhakti. In the beginning, it is important. Uh, later, it will be put down. It is like the axe which cuts, whereby the jiva becomes cut free from the entanglement with the gross and subtle body. And later, that axe is put down. Uh, when one comes to the platform of Jnana Shunya Bhakti, in a higher stage. And the type of Jnana which covers Bhakti is called Brahma Jiva Aikya Jnana. Knowledge that Brahma, uh, that the jiva is Brahma, that he is one with God in quality and quantity in all respects. This is this knowledge is against bhakti. So this these are some of the ideas that Rupa Goswami has put in this verse describing the Tatasta Lakshana of Bhakti. And to describe the Swarup Lakshana, Rupa Goswami has said, Anokuyena Krishna Anu Shilanam Bhakti Uttama. Anokuyena Shilanam. So this word Shilanam means the constant uh, study or practice and this the, the verbal root of the word chilenam um, has two meanings the chesta rupa and the bhava rupa that means that in every cultivation or in every practice there is a uh, an endeavor and also along with that there is a concomitant 
sentiment as well. So this word chilenum includes the cultivation of activities and the cultivation of sentiments. The cultivation of activities is performed in sadhana bhakti uh, as um, uh, pravriti and nivriti, accepting those activities which are favorable for devotional service and actually rejecting those activities which are unfavorable for one's devotional service. And the cultivation of sentiments, this takes place, and this is Bhava Bhakti. Many sentiments are there in Bhava Bhakti. So there are many details. I, shall I go further on, on the same topic? <coughs> First of all, I'd like to apologize because I have not had yet studied Bhakti Vesu. I will hardly. So, as far as I can remember, um, Bhakti Bhakti is execution of the rules and regulations of devotion service um, when with the senses where there's a the element of um, fear it's motivated by the element of fear um, for instance it's explained that in Radhanuga Bhakti then one is executed devotion service and that is done with some spontaneous attraction. It's explained that leading to Vaidhi Bhakti and Raghunuga Bhakti you have two types of shraddha. One is Shastra Atta Shraddha and the other is Lona Shraddha. Um, Shastra Atta Shraddha Shastra Atta Shraddha leads to Vaidhi Bhakti. Vaidhi Bhakti is based upon Bhakti is based upon Shraddha, the seed of Bhakti is Shraddha. When, when Shraddha has crop up because of fear, and when from the scriptures we come to know that if we perform these activities, material activities, we will have to face so many hardships. We may have to go to hell. So, if, if we have got Shraddha, Maharaj is asking what type of Shraddha? From scriptures when we come to know that we should worship Supreme Personality of Godhead. Only then we will get rescue from this material entanglement. Otherwise, suffering is bound to come. Either we worship demigods or we may not worship demigods. We may cultivate any activities, but these activities lead to disaster. We, we have to go hellish planet. We may cultivate good activities, we will go heavenly planet. 
but we will keep on wandering here from hellish planet to heavenly planet but everywhere we will face hardship and suffering if we want to come out of this suffering we have to do worship of supreme personality of god and supreme personality of god is vishnu <laughs> earlier that bhakti is the process of serving lord krishna vedic bhakti is following the principles of uh, loving krishna as per the scriptures and those principles Oh, 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 oh,